Like, I didn't even plan this out. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I'm seeing everything fun for 2023. <laughs> Whoever was in front of me, can I get what they got? All right. Sweetie, I'm here to tighten things up because that pussy is loose. Okay, girlies, hello and good afternoon. We are vlogging today because Shane and I thought it would be fun to go give myself a little makeover because recently, well, hello, my style Oh, hi. Me. What are you doing in this terrible lighting? Follow me to my studio. Oh. Oh my lord, don't look at my face in this darkness. Okay, so yes, today we are indeed going clothing shopping, which is rare for us, but you know what? We've been watching Drag Race. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, I guess going clothing shopping is rare for me because I just do it all online, and then when it comes, I'm like, I hope it fits, and then usually it doesn't, and then I cry. But look at this sickening look. She's elevated, she's winning. She's Listen. got her Versace shoes. Shh. We don't talk about brands. Because you never know when they're gonna get canceled. <laughs> No, I don't care about that. Okay, yeah, so here's the thing. I've been elevating. That's like 2023 is all about, oh my God, 2023 and me. Sorry. <laughs> it's all about elevating and um, deflating my weight. And elevating, oh, my cholesterol? No, deflating Your style. my style. Elevating my style, but also working on my cholesterol. We're doing it all, ladies. And also working on his husband's style. I'm also on a mission to like get rid of a little bit of belly fat that shut I've accumulated. Literally, hey. everybody watching right now just said shut the fuck up. I want to get a six pack back. We were looking back and I used to be like cut down there and now it's just like, I'm getting a dad bod, which is fine, but. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being this skinny and even doing talking. Okay, I'll stop. However, I also want to have a little fashion revamp. I've been watching Drag Race and I just see like the fantasy that some of these girls are serving and I'm like, why can't I be a little bit campy on podcasts or even if I go out for a fun day in LA? So we're gonna go shopping today. Is this a consignment store that you found? <sighs> yes, I found a thrift store, um, but it looks like a fun kind of kooky thrift store. Probably like things that prostitutes wore right before they got murdered. <laughs> Ooh, that was dark. I didn't mean that. Male prostitutes. It's less sad that way for some reason. It's like things clowns would think were too ugly. Perfect. I'm trying to serve like sugar and spice. Out of drag. Hi, uh, Get out of my frame. I don't know what that means. Oh, I see. Drag race. Oh, you think you can do that? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> well, um, yeah, if I get a little more cut, that's what I'm saying. You gotta have the full look come together. I'm trying to serve ranch and honey mustard. You look so great. Never did I think I'd have such a stylish husband. Why am I gonna cry? No, here's the thing. You look great all the time. We just need to elevate you a little bit for the podcast. This is not a great look. This is like running errands and what I wear every day. No, you look good. We're just trying to have fun, ladies. I thought it would be fun to give you something kind of crazy. Like I'm seeing like skin, I'm seeing neon, I'm seeing everything fun for 2023. <laughs> okay, well this store closes at five. We only have a little over an hour, so we've got to go. What, hold on. Don't you dare ruin my hair. Ruin? Sweetie, we're elevating it. No, this is just, <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, <laughs> I found the perfect accessory. I'm gonna bring this around with me all day today. You know what, I mean? see, this is what you call accessorizing. You match the color, get into it. Okay, you're on drag race, you have to do a bit with your drill, your one liner, you have to make us laugh. Incorporate your drill with your fashion. I can't wait to drill you later. <laughs> Uh, sweetie, I'm here to tighten things up because that pussy is loose. <laughs> Not bad, right? Uh, you would be good at Drag Race. Oh, also, wait, come with me. You guys, you forgot to show them the big update that we have in our house. And plus, I need to use it right now. Come on, come with me. Oh, that's right, this is your vlog. Sorry. Can you show your face or something? Okay, hey. vlog. okay back to me. Okay, look at the big update. She's got an outhouse. <laughs> it's so crazy that I found a time machine that takes you back to 2020. <laughs> uh, no, well, do you want to explain this while I use it? Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> it's weird, we have a fucking outhouse. You're not gonna explain it? Oh, oh. 
<gasps> I'm literally peeing. <laughs> Wait. So the reason we have the outhouse is because we've been having- still ha haven't explained the No, I've tried to find lighting. Let me find the light. <clears throat> We have our roof being uh, redone, and so they put this here so they don't have to use our bathroom inside, which we didn't even ask for. Most importantly, there is something so sensual about peeing on the turds of 12 strangers. <laughs> Get into it, ladies. <laughs> okay, we've made it to top stage. We've hit a snag in the plan. <gasps> what? Well, I looked in the window and it's all like actual fashionable 20 somethings. Like this is like- <laughs> You're intimidated well, by the like fashionistas? A, I feel like a fraud. And then like, okay, so I'm scared. Like what if they judge my choices? And then also like filming in there. I don't know if we should be doing that. This is like scaring me. They're just, all like trendy. And there's a candy store right next door. Okay, maybe we should just do that. No, I'm- <laughs> There's also a place called Pants Town. <laughs> <laughs> which I do need pants. All right, well, let's go shopping. I'm gonna take my camera. I have this strap. I'm just gonna strap it around me and just see what happens. I never thought you'd be the one with the strap on. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. Yeah, I know we're shopping for you, but I think I need this. New boy, same tricks. Hey, okay. So I wouldn't say I have any full outfits for you yet, but I have moments of inspiration that I'm gonna draw from. The main inspiration is this candy store. <laughs> okay, this candy store is sickening. They have things I've never even heard of. Look at this, dark chocolate dipped peach rings. Like, are you gonna be kidding me? And also, maybe she'll tell us on camera, but she just told us the craziest thing up. Do you not want to be on camera? Somebody recently drove their car through this store on accident because they got the pedals confused. Isn't that crazy? Went straight through the window. <laughs> Luckily, the candy survived. White chocolate covered licorice. licorice. Are you kidding? Look at chocolate covered gummy worms. Okay, your girlies came to Malibu because Shane wanted his matcha. But I'm freezing now, so can you give me like one of my looks oh. or like a top? As an update, we did find something at Pants Town. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well this this I wanted a cuter shirt underneath and it's a little big, but that's kind of the vibe. I got you this oversized slouchy Ralph Lauren forest green moment. That is so cute. It's supposed to look very much like, okay, we're like halfway through the golf game and I'm like like cold. But it's the sun setting. Oh cute. Is it too big? Well, it's like, it's supposed to be like slouchy. Like you're supposed to like, uh. like half off the sleeve. <laughs> I think yeah. that's what girls do. <laughs> Part two, girl. Like if you had like a cream colored shirt. I can leave it half unzipped. Yeah, like very that. You know what I mean? Very that. Well, can I do more of a sweater? Well, you're in luck. So your sweater option. Okay, now this is for me. Mm. Wow. I already know I'm gonna love it. <gasps> I'm gonna live in this. This is what I say to you every day. Okay, so we are at the Melrose Trading Post, which is basically just like a huge consignment store. That's a big word, but um, points. But I don't know what this is, but I love it. Everything is cheap, everything is weird. They have uh, one of my favorite things ever, which was hip hop Looney Tunes, but I don't know if that's cultural appropriation or not. Is it offensive? I don't know. They're not, I mean, here's what I'm most excited about. These pants really fit one of the looks I have for you. You have to trust me. Well, did you, do they fit you? I don't know. Here, let me see, like... Can you try them on? There's like a bathroom tent that I think you're supposed to go in and try things on. Too much? It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Hear me out. These pants, hookah shell necklace, and this cropped. Oh my god. Am I a stylist or am I a stylist? Look at that. Are Just you gonna, imagine. Are you going to get me the orange garish to match? It's the exact color. You are so bad at filming. <laughs> now go in the bathroom and go change. <laughs> Hurry. Wow, that is so fun. It's a little like cropped. 
That's what they call a personality piece. Okay, so we're back from the Melrose trading post and Shane's been laying out his outfits that he has so far. I don't know if he wants you to see them, but look at my stylist. Okay, the dogs need to leave. I cannot work in this stressful environment. Hey, really, it's just Riley. Uno is already on trend. He's doing very odd haircuts. Show your dupe. Oh. As you can see, it's an asymmetrical inverted mohawk. Um, it was from a spinal tap. He is cancer free. Snaps for Uno. Um, okay, Uno, are you ready to see daddy's new looks? So I'm not done yet, but I do have three looks kind of coordinated. And first of all, you haven't seen these like together and I want your honest opinion, but also like I'm a stylist. <laughs> Like, I didn't even plan this out. I like saw them in my head and then we went to like a few different stores and then I put them all together and I'm like, I literally just made looks on accident. Let's start with the middle. Okay. This is my favorite. So this is the holy mask. Ah! Oh my gosh, wow. It's serving a look for sure. I just hope everything fits me right. Okay, so the holy mess, we obviously we have the fake leather, the pleather hat, which is so cute. Bucket hat, very in right now, very Miley. Then we have the holy mess shirt, very spiritual, very Miley. And then I guess they should be Miley stylist. Then we have the puka shell necklace, very early 2000s, matched with a neon green sunglasses. I know what you're thinking. Too like Christmassy, too weird. No, it works. And then we have these red pants, very bold with this flames white belt. And when you put the look together, bitch, it's Y2, are you okay? <laughs> That's what I'm calling that look. Second look, this one is more like chill, low key, more like wearable. But I do love this vintage t-shirt we found in Malibu. It is a McDonald's okay. t-shirt, it's gorgeous. So I'm calling this look Lil Mac. <laughs> it ain't a Big Mac, it's Lil Mac. So we have the McDonald's shirt, very vintage, very cute, very on trend. We have this really cute vintage belt. It has the reds and the blues and the whites. Very, oh, I want a hot dog real bad. It makes me want a hot dog real bad. Very patriotic. Mm -hmm. And then we have these uh, early 2000s uh, pants that we got at the swap meet like today. Like boyfriend jeans. They're actually girl jeans, but they're like have this nice light baggy tone to them. Yeah, and when you put them all together, it's very all American, very make America gay again, very uh, can I get your order? Can you, I have some fries with that shade? You know what I want to do in this outfit? I want to go do one round of ordering with the car got in front of me in this outfit. I love it. Done. Okay, your final look is what I'm calling like rich, preppy, like going to like the library and then going to get like, you know. He's bored. That's very fashionable to be like not interested, but like you're still listening. He's very on trend right now. I hear you. I see you. Udo. This is very much like I'm in college and I'm like, you know, like preppy, like I'm better than you. I'm going to Alfred's coffee. I'm getting my matcha latte. Like I'm so cool. That's what I'm calling this. Actually, I'm going to call this look. <sighs> Gay dropout. That is you literally. So. For this look, I have two top options. I have two different top options. So we have this Lamborghini vintage orange shirt and I have the more gay option, which does have some rhinos, some rhinos, and the number one. The number one dropout. And then I have these uh, Burberry style pants that are very like, very in right now, very Ralph Lauren, very like, oh my God, what's going yeah, on? Gotcha. And then I have this big oversized forest green Ralph Lauren, uh, cover up that you just leave half off your shoulder. And if you do this one, that could be really cute because it's half off the shoulder and you see the blank. But if you want to be like more normal, you do half off the shoulder and then you get to see the little Lamborghini from Vroom. I don't mean to be mean, but the half off the shoulder thing is like for girls. I don't think the boys are jumping on that trend. Yes, you do in Europe. That's where I get all my inspiration. <laughs> you need to keep up. <laughs> What's your favorite? The hot mess. But I, it's also going to be very dependent on how each one like form fits to my body because I'm very like specific about fits. Well, okay, I know this is probably a whole nother segment of the video, but do you want to try on one of these outfits just to see? Yes. I want to see this because I feel like this is the one you're not sure about and this is the one that I think is going to look the best. Okay, let me put her on and we'll be right back. Okay, we're in the middle of creating the look. This is not the final version of the gay dropout. This is what I would put you in if you were a pop star who was embracing your body. <laughs> if I was Harry Styles. Yes. Okay, so don't judge it yet because this is just like a fun version of the look. The actual look will be in a second. Here is version one. I mean, the flare is like perfect. The length is perfect. Is it something I would wear? Never. But, but like, okay. I feel very, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel very Britney Spears with like these pants, these drop-in pockets right here. It does feel very like 
Oh yeah. Two thousands. Okay, so that's like the fun version. Fun version. Don't judge it. Don't judge it. Now to the real one. Okay, here's the final version of the look. Oh my god, you look so cute. Don't move. Okay, this is a gay dropout. You look fucking good. <laughs> you look, wait, don't, literally don't move. Don't move. Oh my God, I'm so good. You're so good. I don't know. Oh my God, don't move, don't move. Oh my God. Dude. Yeah, you're so bored, like over it. Like what is life? Like who cares? Like where's my uterus? Like model. Wow, how do you feel? Do you feel confident? Wow, I mean, I just don't feel confident in this shape of pant. Like it's really? too, baggy for me, but I would wear the upper half of this outfit with a different pair of like denim or something. Really? I feel like the pants are what make it hit. Well, okay, if we did some altering and I made these like skinnier, I know skinny's not cool, it's millennial, but if I made these like uh, fitted dress pants, I think I would actually wear them. I love the pattern. I'm just insecure about the bell bottoms. I would not be able to go to start. I don't have the confidence to go out in the world like this. Really? This looks so good. I mean, for a video I will, but like, no, I'm not going out by myself and like picking up my salad. You need to trust me. Send a picture of it to Lizzie and ask her for her thoughts. Okay. Okay, you guys, good morning. I am in my McDonald's look. We're gonna go drive through the McDonald's drive through and order what the person got in front of us. I'm also out and about running errands today. And I just have to say, this is my favorite so far just because I love how this shirt fits. Because they're uh, women's jeans and a little too tight, like you can see that I had to pull them up super high to be able to fit my body. But other than that, like I love the fit. I love how baggy they are. I love where they land on my body. Oh, they're just a little too tight, but let's go out and about and enjoy the day. I need to pick up distilled white vinegar because Louie keeps peeing on my most expensive rug in the house. I guess I just need to go get another litter box as well, honestly, but I'm gonna see if this distilled vinegar thing works because I've used every pet stain remover there is on the market. And this is what the internet recommended was to go, okay, well, I'll see you later. I got my distilled white vinegar and we're headed to the McDonald's drive-thru. Ah! I'm so excited because I haven't been to McDonald's since I did the 10,000 calorie challenge. And the sadness in my eyes, I can feel it. And I was so full by the time I got to McDonald's that I didn't even really get to enjoy what I was eating because I was so sickly full. <sighs> but let's go. Bring back an old YouTube trend, why don't we? Oh my gosh. Huh. Well, there's no one in front of me. So how am I gonna order what the person in front of me got when there's no one in front of me? Oh my gosh. I think I have to wait, right? Like, I can't just go in and say, hey, do you remember what the person in front of me got? Wow, now I'm acting like a maniac. Okay, now we're in business. There's two different people in the drive-through lane. <sighs> Which car do I pick? Oh my gosh. I'm like nervous. Is it weird to be nervous? Ooh. Hi, may I help you? Can I just get whatever the person in front of me got? Uh, the wish one? Uh, just whoever was in front of me. Can I get what they got? All right, it's the next winner. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Good. How are you? Thank you. Have a beautiful day. You too. Oh, could I get a straw? I see your bag. In there. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. All right, ladies. Let's see what's for lunch. Okay. First of all, I don't know what the drink is, so let's find out. Oh, an unsweetened iced tea. Mm, and she's a large. Ooh, wow, that's like very refreshing. And this person just got a bacon McDouble. Is that breakfast? Do they still do breakfast? Oh no, it's a hamburger. I was like, I think their breakfast 
Wow, something I've never ordered from McDonald's. But might I say, it does look quite delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow, away to my heart, this woman. Mm. 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 How is it possible that fast food is so good? Wow, oh my gosh. Wow, you know what? I get it, I get the hype, it's incredible. Mm. All right. Mm. If somebody told me that was fucking healthy, I swear to you, I would eat McDonald's every day. Oh no. Shit. I dropped cheese. Oh my god, oh my god. How am I gonna get that? I'll show you the disaster I'm dealing with. Do you see that piece of cheese? Oh. All right, well, my shirt's so cute and nobody at McDonald's even commented on it. Hmm. Okay, I wanted to stop, but I couldn't stop. So instead, I just took the bread off and I'm eating the meat, telling myself, oh, maybe that's healthy. Hmm. It's still delicious, even without the bread. Holy crap. Now it's time for the girlies to get gas. Um, uh, uh, um, what? Okay, this is the final look. This is kind of the reveal, but I have a few more surprises to add to it. Are you ready? That's all out of Here comes my holy mess. It looks better on the rack. I don't think so. I think it's fun. No, I do think People I don't, don't know. Pose like that. Something about the shirt. I think like if it's a crop, maybe it needs to be like a little tighter or something. No, let it go. I mean, I killed it. Well, first of all, you're not gonna like this. What? Well, because you you did your hair, which like you didn't have to do because. I have this red leather pleather hat. I mean, I love the hat. I always have issues with how my hair looks, so. I gotta get this tag out, but. <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> really took it there. We'll take off the sunglasses. <laughs> okay. <sighs> how do I... This is giving like, I'm having a breakdown and don't want to be seen in public. Holy mess! <laughs> okay, wait, I have more. Okay, I got you this necklace, which is inspired by one of your favorite drag queens from this season. Get out of my frame. <laughs> and it says your name. And I just go like that. I gave this to him the other night and he reacted to it like I gave him a diamond ring. <laughs> <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I've commented like seven times that I wanted one of these, but I didn't ever do the research myself to figure out how to get one. By the way, your reaction to that is more than when I got you like a Cartier ring. <laughs> so like, this was like $50 on Etsy, but I'll take it, I'll take the reaction. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it is just the craziest thing ever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That really did it. That really oh, did yeah. something. How do people successfully wear hats like this? Like a bucket hat? I don't know, it's not working for you. <laughs> it really isn't, one second. Okay, I have one, <laughs> I have one final, oh my god, a halo. I have one final surprise. <gasps> this is something I got on Etsy and I feel like it really completes the look and I'm so happy it finally came. This is like the final touch. <laughs> like, it's gonna take it to that fucking level. Like, people are gonna see this picture and be like, har, 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 that bitch, that bitch, that bitch, that bitch. You know what I mean? Don't move. I got you your very own <gasps> flame bling cup. Oh, with my flaming red pants? Are you kidding me? And it matches the belt. Ooh, I can see the picture already. I just, yeah, what? Yeah, other hand is flipping off the camera. One hand has the fucking bling cup. Fucking bucket hat is thrown to the side because it does not work on you. <laughs> the fucking green sunglasses. Like, bitch, she is the moment. Why two? Are you okay? Okay, well, okay, let's go take this photo. Let's see what we can get. Where are we gonna take it? I'm seeing, wow, new Missy Phonia unlocked. 
I'm seeing like, I was originally seeing like a white brick wall with fish eye. Then I was seeing you sitting on a toilet with your legs spread going, Ugh. so I don't know, I'm in between. Then I was seeing a final look of you in the shower with all your clothes on and the shower on and you're just like, oh. so I don't know, I have ideas. We've got to end with that. Yeah. All right, let's get to taking pictures. Okay, welcome to my office where I went through all of the pictures, all of my work I put on my robe. I really got into it, and now I'm ready to show you my artistry. Wow, I'm like actually scared. Okay, so I have them laid out in sort of a story. <laughs> so first, <gasps> getting ready. Wow. Pre-gaming before we leave the house. I wish I didn't have so much body hair, but this look does photograph really well. Yeah, well, and these are the bad ones. So that's you getting ready. To we switched sides. I felt like my head looked too big. <laughs> Being close to camera. Okay. okay, we're still getting ready. We still haven't left the house yet. Look how glossy your lips look. I did put on some uh, chapstick. Good model. Okay, you know, just a little squat, just testing out the poses, really. Just, you know. <laughs> Getting ready. Uh, I left these in because you were being just so aggressive to the dog. Oh my her, gosh. <laughs> telling her to pose for you and work for you. And then she said, Ugh, I'm so scared of my mother. <gasps> and then she just completely fell asleep because she was like, well, I'm not working under these conditions. Oh my gosh. And then she started kind of participating. Well, she wanted it to be over. <laughs> oh, that's me. A little overexposed. That's a little behind the scenes. <laughs> Okay, now the toilet ones. They're getting better, they're getting better. <gasps> Your vision's coming to life. Yes, so the ones on the toilet, you know, just making a holy mess out of your holy mess. Uh, this one's fun, you know, playful, middle finger, you know, just fine. Oh wow, kind of like that. That one's good, catches the bling on your ring and the bling on your fake necklace. That one's really good, I like that one. That one's just, you know, just like sipping. It's just sipping and shitting. Ooh, caption idea, write it down. <laughs> this one oh. I think is fun. This is like, yeah, promo picture for your new album, holy mess, coming soon, praise the Lord. And this one, you know, just a continuation of that same vibe. <laughs> now we're outside. Wow. Now we're outside, now we're holding the bucket hat. We're not wearing it because it doesn't do your hair justice, so we're holding it. Mm -hmm. And we're like posing, but we're on the go, we're running, we're somewhere. The sunglasses in the daylight look real good. Really good. There's, you know, just like flipping off the camera. That, something I noticed from my model while I was going through these shots was that you don't know how to do your middle finger. Oh yeah, I had this pinky up. I was like doing the shocker. Yeah, but you know, whatever, still works. Okay, that one's good. Ring really close to the camera, really showing off that bling. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, you know, just posing. Like you're sick of flipping people off. You're ready for them to embrace you now. That one's really good. Yeah, wow, look at that one. these look at the sunglasses cup. look so good in daylight. I told you, I had a vision. Wow. And look at the cup. The colors do come together and it's not serving Christmas. No. And by the way, that cup is something you can't get on Etsy. I went straight to the person who made it and I said, I want this. And she designed it for this shoot. I'm sure if they request, we'll put the seller in the description section below. Okay, yeah, just more continuation of the same vibe. Same Drinking, energy. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ooh, yeah, just like simple little, uh huh. Better <laughs> flip off. Your favorite move. Another one. You loved it. Okay, this one is just like a fun, like, I didn't even mean to take this picture. We were just moving locations and my model was tired. <laughs> okay, that one's wow. fun. Little bucket, it actually works. Thank the Lord. This one's fun, little bling on the fucking cup. Look at that. Mm. Okay, um, these ones, these ones uh, aren't that great because they're from my phone, but I decided to just throw them in there anyways. So yeah, these are just, you know, you posing. Oh, the wrinkles on my forehead. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have shown these ones. This one's kind of fun. Oh. Okay. Oh. That one's kind of, oh, Ooh, you hate it, okay. Oh, Fine. the real camera. It's like, give me the beauty back. This one's kind of fun, no? You hate it? Oh Lord, okay, well, didn't know, didn't know, didn't know. Okay, this one's kind of fun in front okay. of the flowers. You're looking up for the birds. Okay. Making sure they don't shit on your holy mess. You couldn't have even end it on a great note. Let's hit us with one of those beauty ones. Oh, yeah, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, one of those are great. Any of these. Well, I would say my favorite out of the whole shoot is definitely... The first toilet, right? Yeah. I think this one, and I like this one. Yeah, these are really good. I think my work here is done. Wow, you know, I saw your vision. I liked your vision. I had a good time. I'd probably only practically wear one of the outfits in my everyday life. Ouch. The McDonald's. Okay. But I think for photo shoot or podcasts, I'll definitely, like this necklace is gonna get a lot of use. Mm. So thank you. It was fun. No, I had a lot of fun doing this. I have really just gotten into my stylist element and I feel like I'm really thriving. 
Ah, uh, no, this was fun. Is the video over? Yep. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs>